Go ahead. I heard you have a whole project with Gunna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got a whole project with Gunna. But the people, all right, so Lee was supposed Shout to- Shout out to my guy, Lee, Foundation. Yeah, yeah, Foundation Media. Lee was supposed to put the money up for the project, right? But it's already recorded. It's all done and all that. And it is not even- And this is like a few, a few years old, right? It's clear, yeah. Because you're real it's, tight with- two years. YSL. Yeah, the yeah. old YSL. So, yeah, me and Gunna, specifically, like, we're- Closer, not closer than Thug, but like we are on the same level as how I am with Thug, like Mm -hmm. because Thug grew up with us basically before when I was in Atlanta, him and Pee Wee Longway, we all grew up from eighteen. Well, when I was eighteen on up, so uh, I got that relationship. Whatever, I come home and he like, look, I'm a executive producer your project, your first project, just like Mm -hmm. we gonna. Gonna say that. Yeah. yeah. He like, this how you gonna get a bag. That's what he told me. This how you gonna go get the bag. Tell them I'm as they can do producer, and gonna... woo woo. And they gonna, and he like, I got you. Da, da, da. So we do it, we record. He's only on three songs of the project. But he executive produced it. Yeah. And then I had Dirk on the project. I got all type of like I might I got have a lot work. of I might have some of these songs on my phone actually. Yeah, you do got you it do will you, set me hell. Yeah, and you got like, you got some most of the songs, and I, it was like, all right, I'm dropping, I'm dropping. And then I just dropped, and I went through a whole lot, of shit and people wasn't seeing it because it was off camera. Like when I dropped, not enough. I had a whole rollout. I got distros begging me to finish, like like yeah. to keep dropping, right? But I went through some shit recently, and it just like it kind of like it was like ripping the rap up out of me, like, and then it's like I'm reaching out to rap, to, like my rap friends in the middle of that, trying to keep the rap. Right. Going on to, you know what I mean, and it's like everybody. Not even the, and when I mean my rap friends, not even the ones that's doing the rapping. It's like the producers mm-hmm. is is right the background folks. Yeah, it's this dude, video the director, engineer, sure. me. Yeah, you know I mean <laughs> like like that. It, we it, it's just like the dots ain't connected. So right. I just said I'm good at. So you decided to just leave rap alone for now. For those months, I'm back. But I had back. to, yeah, I had to clear my mind because it was like if it frustrated me anymore while I'm going through this and like, because what, you, how long were you locked up? Three years? Uh, three and a half. The last time, right? Yeah. Because you had the YG record. It was U Y G I A D. Yeah, uh, and then I had just dropped with Chris Brown right yeah. after that, and then you ended up locked up. Yeah. So it was like a bad. It was terrible, because. You obviously get close with Chris Brown from that Kid Ink tour with Fetty Wap, right? Yeah. Well, no. Was I it Fetty was, Wap? I was cool with Chris. By the way, that tour just at, was it? Yeah, it was you, Fetty Wap. It was Fetty Migos, Wap, the Migos, Ink, Omarion. Tiana Taylor. Yeah, Tiana Taylor. Yeah. I just was talking about that shit. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Uh, French Montana. French was on it. Yeah, because French was- He was coming out with Chris. Way with Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I went to the show but, Yeah, I was actually- that tour might have ended our friendship more than you and Chris's. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, I have no idea. That's when he was like running around uh, with like every blood in LA on tour with yeah, him. Yeah, menace and everybody was there. What was that guy's name? Kid Red. Kid Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, menace was between. opening the tour. Yeah. Menace was Compton open. Menace was the first guy yeah, to open that first show. Dude. He was the first dude. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, about it went that. Compton, Tiana, yeah. and it went the Migos. It was a very random tour. And it was a whole lot of controversy behind that line. Who was opening? Whoa. Because I remember Kid Ink went on after the Migos, and at that time I was like, I don't know. You did. No, 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 no. Kid Ink. Or Omarion right went on yeah. after Kid Ink, and it didn't make yeah. sense. No, no, no. Did he go on? After I think Omarion went on after Kid Ink. When there was something there? involving Ink where it just no, was out of order. No, Omarion went on. No, Kid Ink was right behind Chris. Chris. Oh, so he did right Omarion behind. think he should be? Should be yeah, but, but Omarion, uh, he got over that because of the hits or whatever the case was. But Omarion was at the half. I think he wasn't really tripping, tripping. Like, I don't want to piss nobody. That's what up. it was because I remember he hearing at, about it. Yeah. All right, so this is how it went. It went... Um, I think he had to go before Fetty Wap. He had to go before Fetty Wap. He like Fetty Wap knew, and I wasn't doing Chris like this when when they was going on tour with us. Did you know Ink I mean? did Ink go on after Fetty Wap or before? 
He went on after Fetty. Went. That's who I'm thinking. There's yeah, just no way. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and at yeah, that time, yeah, yeah, it I, was a it was a big homie move. You kind of know at that time, Chris Brown's still Chris Brown, one of the greatest entertainers we've ever had live. But I was on the radio side giving away tickets to that that tour, and listeners were calling in, and they weren't saying I want Chris Brown tickets. They were saying I want Fetty Wap tickets. <sighs> Cause that was when Fetty Wap was. It was a big. That it was, it guy. Was, and it was Fetty Wap. He's so humble. He was paying his respect. He didn't even. Yeah, push which was the cool. Cause at that cause time, he just was like, like. I don't think people understand him. the 2014-15 Fetty Wap run. It was, he was crazy. That's what I'm like. You go out there, and when he goes out there, you gonna hear everybody. Yeah, baby. Oh my like, god. He was doing the Hot 100 Fest on his days off. Yeah. That's what. That's what type of a tour run he was having. Fetty like was you get what I'm run, saying. Man. He was doing the Billboard Hot 100 concerts and shit. Like his one offs were crazy. So you obviously you grew up out in here in L.A. Right? For people, who, but but you you how did you end up in Atlanta? Uh, college. Okay. So where'd you go? Clark, Atlanta. Okay. So we know where you're from, obviously, because you say it all the time on 6 Oh, Oh, six. Up. <laughs> I'd like to point out, too, that the first time that you and it was you, Crip Mac, and was it Sharp? Yeah, when he came on. Oh, my God. It was classic. Bro, I it? was just so wildly entertained by, like... The on hood on six o and like yo homie got squabbles in prison. You guys are just mentioning people's names, and I'm just like, this is the most wildly Gang shit, ganged out. <laughs> but see, people don't see that side of me because I switch it up. But like people that I've been ganging with, that's like our our lingo. That's like no, I I mean, the, and that's why it was just and it was so funny because like you were just here like. Like the way like Crip Mac was talking about like catching fades in prison and you're like, yeah, on six oh he got hands. Like I saw him yeah, in county or whatever. Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we was living cause like we wasn't stars like that before. Like now we go to jail, we would be like, Oh, they're like stars. Like the police know you celebrity, yeah. so they try to put you away because you might have an influence or people might want to get at you just right. to show off type shit, whatever. You can't really escape it. I mean, I'll probably sign a waiver. they probably end up snatching me up to take me up there anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll be too much controversy with me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, we was on the main line. We really was thugging. Like, you know what I'm saying? We eating with... We fighting, we doing everything this is together. Yeah, in the county. They yeah. always say that county is like the worst place. Yeah, it's the worst. And so let me get this straight. Because you don't go outside every day. Right. You don't have a regular program, the food that well, they and in, serve. And in county, isn't the L.A. politics are still intact? As to where if you go to prison, the politics swish a little. Yeah. So... In county, you squabble your enemies. You know like I mean? if you, you keep... see somebody who's a, 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 like an op or whatever, but yeah, if, yeah, if you guys end up in prison up. together, y'all might be together. Yeah, because if, if you a crip, you a crip, blood, you all going to be together. It ain't just no- Because it's a race, hey, it's a a race thing in prison, it. right? Yeah, yeah, it's really a respect thing. Like if somebody disrespects you, then you got all all action at a fade, stabbing, whatever. But if everybody keep it respectful, is yeah, it's, everybody's a gang member. Here. I know it's like- It's going to be people from every hood. So if you're going to keep tri tripping on every hood, then gonna you're going to whoop your then everyone's right gonna, You're going to die. Yeah. Yeah, I felt really bad. Like when I saw Money Signs Sway pass away, man, in there, I was like, fuck. Like, See, I just found out he was a non-affiliate though. That's what I'm saying. Like He seemed like he was just a good kid who just ended up yeah, getting locked up. Like, yeah. So what it was- when they put that pressure on him, he was standing. He was standing on business, and it's like it's nobody there to back him because he's not from a gang. So they know he got money, and they thinking that he's showing off just because he's, he's a rapper. They The only thing they have left to do is to do some shit like that instead of embracing him. You know what I mean? Like be happy yeah, for yeah, the Yeah, I mean, because I'm assuming he was in general population. Which, yeah, he was. He was is it? Because I always say, like, dude, if I ever, God forbid, had to go to, like, county jail... I'm figuring out a way to go to fucking PC. I'm like slapping they go, the guard. They go in the, like, nah, how do I get in the hole? Go. Nah, but you go. <laughs> Put me in the hole. Pause. I don't want to be around nobody. Uh, man, they go love you, man. It's good. Oh, they're not. Got, no, they're not. <laughs> so I, went to jail, I went to jail once for one night. And somehow, while being there, bro, like, I'm like in the holding cell. This is in Arizona. And like fucking six dudes just throughout the day just walk by and recognize me. And I'm like, they're like, 
why are you here? And I'm like, oh, no. Uh, he thought you were in a world where nobody knew kids. Oh, Everybody God. knows kids. I'm using my sneaker as a pillow. Yeah, at your lowest with a little tissue roll on yeah, top of it. toilet paper. <laughs> I didn't eat any of the food. Hell no. Nah. I was like, I don't want to take a shit. You're not, you're not doing none of that for at least three, four days, especially your first time. Like, come on, man. But yeah, with, with, like you're famous though, so you go high power. They, they, What's they, high power mean? High power is like where... Shug Knight and everybody was at. Oh, okay, okay. That's where Soldier well, Boy. I'm not Boy, trying to go to jail. That's where Soldier Boy was at. You, you, you're in like a one man cell. That's all. Yeah, give me the one man. Yeah, but I don't want to go. So yeah, nah. Let's point that out. I'm not going back that either. That's what world. I'm like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going back either. That's out. Yeah, you know I mean. So you were in college. Um, you while you're in Atlanta, you end up linking with everybody out there who's doing, doing, you know. Yeah, doing what they doing. Shout out to Pee Wee, who's a legend. Yeah, man. Shout out Longway, man. One of the most. Mr. Like, don't speak. He won't talk. He, he don't do interviews or nothing. Uh, I mean, he did the Vlad one, but it was, yeah. a, a, you know. Yeah. He answered questions the right way. And now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now nobody would interview because they I'll know that him. they're not. I was trying to no, interview. No, not, not will interview, but nobody wants, like, desires it because you're not going to get nothing out of them, no way. I would just talk about, like, you know, food or something, or yeah, like food, video music. games, or Netflix, yeah. or yeah, 